Do you hate being poor? Do you want to be rich like me? Well, go over to Messi Modding Services where you can buy GTA 5 modded accounts, GTA 5 money, and rank for PS4, Xbox One, and PC. Check their website out in the link below. And if you're having doubts, just look at all these happy customers. So in one of my recent videos, I said this. Now, you see that guy that I just killed there? Little did I know that this would lead into a really unfair, really annoying free mode fight, which is going to be the next video. So turn on notifications so you don't miss that. And as you can see, my next video wasn't that. But I know how anxious you guys are to see what happened in that fight. So that's what I'm going to show you right now. Now, just a quick recap if you haven't seen that video. I joined a fight on the beach. He clapped me when he used BST and I couldn't. I managed to get BST, clapped him back. Another guy joined, so I clap too. They start playing unfair with jets and off radar. I go away. They come back. I clap them again and make them rage quit. But yeah, back to right now. This is the fight. Now, it's not going to be that much commentary. Instead, I'm going to put a song, which is made by my friend. And I'm going to put that over the top. So, yeah, enjoy it. You can find links to listen to his song down below. And trust me, he really appreciates the support. I then decide to fly away because it's like four or five people all trying to kill me. And they don't seem to be all be friends, but they do all seem to be angry at me for some reason, so they're all ganging up. Now it's funny because whenever I try and disengage from a fight, there's always some people that try and follow me because they're that annoyed at me. But they never seem to learn because even though they got clapped before, they're still going to get clapped here when there's less people fighting against me. So here my PlayStation actually completely messes up. The timing literally couldn't have been any better because I just got the kill. But yeah, if you're watching in my videos from about two or three months ago, you've known that I've been having problems with my PlayStation. It keeps getting system errors, but yeah. And the guy still didn't manage to kill me when I was frozen like that, so that's uh, pretty disappointing. But then I notice in the minimap, my best friend is coming over. He's the guy who's just spamming his RC tank like a little nerd. So yeah, he comes over and is a presser mark too, like a skilled player he is. Now I'm just going to go on a little run right here. So we've got this brain box who's just flying really close to me in the presser, so I can easily empty him off. And you see how he plays next. 
He's now on ground. You can see his little dot. I zoom into him. Um, what do you know? He's suicide? Yeah, because uh, why wouldn't he? He's scared of dying. Again, I zoom in again. I kill him. So the score's now 5-1. to one. He gets clapped because he's absolutely awful at the game. Now we keep watching. Suicides again. And then he just leaves. Because he doesn't know what to do. Now you may be like, oh, but you suicide too. Uh, you can't complain about it. And there's a big difference in when I suicide versus when they suicide. Now I suicide when they have a big advantage. Like this guy in the jet right here. There's literally nothing I can do except get a kill found by him. Now on the other hand, the other guy suicides when he doesn't have the advantage. So he suicides until he can get an advantage. And if he can't get the advantage, he just leaves. Oh my god, and another thing that just uh, reminded me is when people are in a jet like this and the jet gets smoking, instead of like jumping out and maybe having a fair fight on ground, which is what I basically always do. In fact, I usually just kill someone once and then jump out. Like, I don't even care if my jet's smoking or not, I just jump out. But yeah, this guy's jet smoking, so that means he might die. So instead of jumping out, yeah, like I said, he has to go back and get another jet, so he constantly has an advantage. Now you may think, oh, this is just smart playing, but it's just really annoying. And the worst part is, is when you're trying to take out the jet and some guy keeps shooting you in the side. Also, I checked the map and you can see the little friend, what's his name, G1394, he joins back. Yay! And of course, I've got someone shooting me in the back. And of course, they're off radar. And of course, when he becomes on radar, he flies away in an oppressor because, of course, you can't have a fair fight. You're not allowed to be on radar. At this point, I'm pretty annoyed with this guy because he keeps getting a jet and coming over and ruining my fight with this guy. So I send him a lovely message, which he ignores. And then I send the G13, whatever his name is, I send him a message as well. Turn the score because I know by the way he plays, he's probably annoyed and definitely cares about it. So the main reason I send these guys messages is just because uh, I want to spice up the situation. This guy says that I cheat. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> War already also accuses me of uh, using a lag switch, which I've explained in the previous video, so if you want to watch that, you can go watch it. But it's basically not a lag switch. So this uh, G13 guy, he says, LOL spawn kill aimbot GG. Now I don't know if this guy's foreign, so he thinks aimbot means something else, but this is PlayStation, so of course you can't have aimbot. And then I get a message back saying NP is a cheater. Don't know if that means no problem, you are a cheater or what. I don't know what it means. And I get a message from the other guy saying play clean, not glitching, noob. Even though I'm basically, I'm, like, he's no jet, so uh, yeah, I think we know who the clean one is. And of course, this guy has to come back over it in a jet. Like, do you just leave me alone or something? Like, how desperate are you to get your kills back? So yeah, I'm fed up with this moron, so I just teleport away. I also replied to G13, call him dumb as well. Then War Ready calls me scared, even though he's hiding in a jet and basically 3v1 me the whole time. Actually, no, maybe, maybe it's a 4v1, I can't remember, but yeah. He then tries to justify the fact that he's in a jet and basically playing unfair because I can one shot him and he can one shot me back though, so uh, he's just complaining for no reason. But in case you're getting annoyed by the fact that I'm just sending these guys messages instead of fighting them, these guys are. <laughs> like, I literally can't fight them. This guy, yeah, the G13, he's hiding in his arcade. 
and Warray is hiding somewhere in the city in a jet, so like, I just can't be bothered. Like, if they were both on ground, I would have gone over and fought them, but nah. I also find it quite ironic that whenever I get a jet, Warray goes in passive straight away. So yeah, basically nothing else happens for the rest of the video. Just get a few funny messages. I don't understand what this guy's saying, but yeah. If you enjoyed this content, don't forget to smash that like button. Uh, also, subscribe if you want to see more. Turn on notifications if you don't want to miss it. So uh, yeah, uh, thank you. Bye.